Right guys, so we are down here with Rob Potter and now we're going to get the Callaway XR Pro iron. But before we do that, I've just got it in my hand. I'm just going to put some dots on it so we can see the club head data. He's got, uh, Rob's got his current Callaway clubs. Talk to us about that one there, Rob. Yeah, what I've got, I've got the uh, Callaway Razor X Tour irons. Um, they're the irons I've been using now for about two, I think it's the third or fourth season now. Okay. Um, so am I due for a new set? Possibly you could say for distance wise, I might be missing out on a bit. But... Callaway, if you're listening. <laughs> yeah, I if because this, uh, I would say these two are a direct. Yeah. Comp this is a direct comparable. You've direct got comparable. the right razor, uh, R uh, Tour against the new XR Pro. Yeah. It's about yeah. the same yeah. kind of matchup in head. Yeah, razor X Tour and, and XR Pros. So yes, yeah, not much difference. Uh, I think that head is a wee bit bigger okay. uh, than what this is. But let, let's let's see how it all goes. So we'll start. Well, I've left on screen. The best of the XR iron as well. So the best XR iron, the normal XR, was a 150 carry. Yeah. Let's hit yours just a couple so we've got a benchmark. Okay. And then we'll get on the XR Pro. Yeah, good plan. So they're the shots now with Rob's Callaway. What's this? The Razor R? It's the Razor X. Razor Tours. X Tour. Yeah. So we see an average. I'm gonna let me pull up the averages there so we can see. Okay. We've also got on the screen the uh, the pink coloured line, which is uh, your best XR shot. Okay. So the the, the average carry of those two then that you just hit was one two nine. Yep. So about one thirty between one thirty and one thirty five you yeah. get with this. Yeah. Normal. Now bearing in mind you've just carried this car uh, carried that no. on average one four five. Yes. Let's see what the pro has to offer. Let me yeah. change the colour of the line. I'm going to go. Oh, go on, have a look if you need to have a look right, at yeah. the comparable. Just, just have a look at the comparable one. Uh, the head on this one is the on the X uh, XR Pro is slightly larger than what the uh, Razor X Tour is. Um, in terms of being looking discreet and sleek, still looks very very discreet and sleek. Uh, this has still got the Cup 360 design onto it uh, because I know Callaway did well, on when they did the Razor to, with Razor X's. They changed the uh, the design okay. as it went into the better club. This one, they've kind of kept the same technology standard to it, but just made the club a bit smaller. Yeah, it, and does, go, it does go more bladed. Yeah, goes into, more bladed into, into uh, short irons. Which is what I expect. You know, you come into a five iron, one, yeah. you're going you're to hit, you're going to see that more. And bear in mind, I don't hit three and four irons. I, my, my irons start from a five yeah. and go to nine and then go custom wedge. Yeah. Um, so that doesn't really worry me too much. Looks uh, wise compared to the, looks wise to the XR. XR. Again, the, the top line, the contrast in the composite metals is pretty much still the same. Uh, that, that's fine. Uh, I expect that. Um, it looks very, very nice. The top uh, top line, maybe it's a little bit thinner on uh, on the Pro than it is on, on the standard XR, uh, but still looks a fabulous club. Yeah. Uh, looks really, really nice. I, 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 for me, it just seems to suit you, this club. Yeah. The, the XR and that just seems to suit you. I don't know why. I, don't, I think I, it's because you currently use Callaway, and in my head, I've still got you as a Callaway kind of yeah. you know, hitter. Yeah, and, and I have been. I've, yeah, I've been, been very, for a while. I've been very, very pro towards Callaway for quite some time now, uh, <laughs> since 2005, 2006, I went to Callaway. Okay. Uh, Obviously, signed the signed the paperwork, and you got a ten year contract. And did it all that? that that's how I did it. Yeah, um, I, was, <laughs> no, you, I think they signed you and Phil at the same time. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, Ian Nicholson. Yeah. <laughs> it was two thousand eight. I tell you, it was two thousand eight when I switched from from Titleist Golf uh, Irons to Callaways, and I went to the X uh, X twenty. Big hit for Titleist there. Big hit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to want a tournament in Turkey with it. What can Did I you? say? Yeah, yeah. Right. So uh, XR Pro. Yeah. Uh, I've got the white line that's going to be displayed. If it goes as far as the XR, I mean, that'd be good anyway. But also. For me, looks-wise, I don't know. Does this, does this one look? Does this one suit your eye better? Uh, you tell me. You tell me. You... Not much difference, really. Like okay. I said, the, the, the offset always gives you more confidence. Uh, the offset will always give you more confidence looking down it. Okay. This has virtually no offset. It's like like a blade would be. Not quite a blade, but it would be like what a blade would be. Uh, if this could go as far as what the XR did, then I'll plat sawdust. It'll wow. be interesting. Sawdust. It'll wow. be interesting. Let's do it. Uh, to Let's see do if, it. if that's possible. <laughs> see if it could do it. So it's averaging at 145, the XR. Yeah. What a shot. What a shot. Lovely flight. The flights are nice. Isn't on it this. nice? It is. It's still going 140 carry. 140 carry. Interesting. Let's go again. So it's a, it's a good, good carry still. That's, oh. That is an, that is a golf shot. That's, I think that's the best really, shot I've ever seen. Really, really nice. Still just about 140. About 140 They're yeah. a tiny bit weaker on lofts yeah. than the XR. Right. Which is what, that's fair enough then. I okay, can, I can live a tiny with that. bit. 141 average so far, which is still 12 yards further than your current yeah. iron. Yeah. This, this is really, what I was saying before, this is really, really going up against the Taylor Maids. Yeah. 
The RSIs. Um, yeah, they're going up against the we're RSI. Gonna long, ones, we're going to do a long drive in a bit. He's, Actually, he's, long he's, iron drive. That's the comparison going to yeah. be between them two makes. There's no two ways about it. Uh, and the both sets feel lovely. Uh, really nice. Oh. Right hit. Very nice. It's just... No, any feeling difference between this and the XR? No, 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 no feeling difference at all. Uh, I, I, I personally don't think that anyway. Um, I mean, that was these, these are averaging at 141. That was pushed and that was 141. Yeah, your best, your best with the XR was 150, but your average was 145. Yeah. So there's four yards difference so far. Let's hit two more. Okay. And it was the same shaft as you saw me swap it over. This was exactly the same shaft. Yeah, yeah same one. So, one four, these are consistent distances anyway. Yeah, yeah. Give me one more, then we'll pull up the figures. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're good to go. Okay, okay. That's it, sir. Thank you. Very nice. Right, let's have a look at the figures. Let's pull all them up. Feel okay? Yeah, it feels okay. feels okay. I, I, I don't know which one to say I like the better. I kind of like the more offset better than this one. Okay. Strangely. Uh, I didn't think I'd do that, but nonetheless, yeah, they feel really, really nice. Really, really nice. So, reminder of the XR, the normal XR, the average, average carry distance was 145 with the longest shot 150. Your Razor XR, Razor X Tour, was averaging at 130. This is now averaged at 141. Right. So they've gone to about 10 yards further, yeah. roughly. The best I think about this is your dispersion front to back was miles better. Right. Your worst one was 138, your best one was 141. Yeah. Yeah, so it's consistent. Front to back dispersion's yeah. much better. Yeah, much, much better. Uh, well, I think the XR would be longer. Yeah. I think that one might be better overall. What do you, yes. think? I, you tell me. No, yeah, no, I see your point in that one because at least then, I know that if, not so much if I'm not quite catching it cleanly, but on the shots, I know it's always going to be in, if you're looking at a, a circumference area, a squared circle area, it will land more in that, it will be a small circle there, yes. rather than the bigger yeah. circle there. Yeah. Um, so that, that will be probably be a better option. Feel good? Yeah, feel good. Uh, yeah. Go on, sorry. So that's interesting, bear in mind, this has got less offset. And even the dispersion possibly going offline a little bit is maybe a little bit, I don't know. Uh, you probably, not bad, not bad. Not bad. So you went six yards offline, three yards offline, 10, 17, then five. So 10 and 17 were just slightly to the right. right. Yeah. Um, but that's a shot that you have. Yes, the offset might just bring that back in a touch maybe. Yeah. Uh, the furthest one you hit with the XR though was 13 yards offline as well. So yeah. Yeah, off, offline will have a little bit of factor with the offset, but yeah. also down to yourself as well. Perfect. Clubhead speed was 75, very good clubhead speed. Ball speed, just over 100 again. Yeah. I'm going to have to go up, like I said. 102, it, well, just not averaging, just under 102. Well, the golf balls I'm using at the moment are uh, Calais SR1s, and that's supposed to be for a 90 mile an hour swing speed. Yeah. So I'm going to have to look at getting SR2s. Ball speed or swing speed? Uh, ball speed, sorry. Ball speed. Ball speed. So, so ball speed, going to have to go up. You have to go. I'm going to have to go SR2s. What's this? <laughs> so, <laughs> and that, is that with irons or drivers, though? Uh, the driving ball speed will be fast, much faster. Ball, ball speed, but with the irons, uh, when I, when I, I, I talked to my said, no, go off what your irons are, because you'll hit more irons than you do woods. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so, and also, it'll be more the spin factors on your irons rather than the woods. Exactly. So, for, for my, uh, my my quest for getting past the red tees that I'm doing now. Is that, yeah? That, is that that's the quest. Finch's quest? Yeah, Finch's Finch doing a uh, quest for 350, I'm doing quest for past the red tees. Uh, keep, keep your pants. There you go. Well and truly on. Yes. Um, guys, I, I'm loving Rob Cessna. I think he's doing a phenomenal job. If you, you agree, if you think he's doing a great job and giving you a nice insight to what these clubs are doing, please do click the thumbs up button and show us some love. Comment down below. Rob's going to have fingers that are bleeding from all the typing, all the replying that he's going to do because yeah. he's a fantastic replier. Um, also, go and check him out on Twitter. Go and give some love. Go and give the new shaped beard some love. Um, subscribe to the channel if you've not already. I'd love you to do that. And also, we've got some more clubs to test. We've got some woods. We've got some more irons. Uh, I'm going to put Rob through his paces. We might cut for lunch for, for 15 minutes. Cool. I'll, I'll give you 15 minutes off that, right? So, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Callaway XR irons. Oh, ratings. Ratings. Sorry, ratings for the XR normal first. We didn't rating do that for one. the XR normal is a nine. Nine? Yeah. Sorry, no guys, we didn't do that. Yeah. Uh, pro? Uh, I'm going to go 8.75. Okay. So in between the tailor-made and the XR. XR normal is your highest at the moment. Yeah. It's going yeah. to take some beating. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.